Hey everybody, I have a surprise for you, and I know I haven't gone live in a long time, but this was worthy of a live video. So, I don't know if you heard or not, but, let me scoot the camera back, that's the uh, downside to the lives, is you have to put up with my crazy camera angles. But, Spinolution has made a brand new spinning wheel, and um, it's a DIY style spinning wheel, and it's in this box! I haven't even opened it yet, so I uh, I wanted to do a live unboxing video like I did for the Bullfrog and I think any other new thing, my Echo. <laughs> so this is just going to be an unboxing, but I know normally in the Spinolution unboxing videos I unbox them and I'm like, oh my god, they're basically already assembled. <laughs> Let me just stick it together and then it's done. But this one's going to be a little different, so... Um, this one is a DIY, half 3D printed, half unfinished wood spinning wheel. And it is brand new, and I'm going to get it on my website, hopefully later today, assuming the coffee and the child care hold out. <laughs> but, um, so I will link that here. And I'm also going to do an official edited video of how to put this together, because I have been told <laughs> from the company that, you know, like I said, and I don't think it's going to be that hard, but... We are a bit spoiled with uh, our usual wheels that you just take them out and you stick them to, you know, like bolt one thing together and then it is uh, totally done. So this one I uh, am going to have to put together and I will make a how-to on putting that together for you, but I was just excited. We were out of town, so I had to wait till I got back in town to uh, unbox this. So I'm going to do, this is probably going to be... I'm going to do the best I can to unbox this and let you watch. <laughs> so it comes in, because I wanted you to see that, like I so said, the idea with this wheel is that it is a, you can see it's not a very big box. So it's kind of a flat, not that long box, and it's not that heavy, as my uh, husband who just carried it upstairs for me just told me that it was not that heavy. <laughs> but um, I have short arms, so you know, why not? If you have help, get help. But the idea is that this wheel is unfinished, so it's going to be a more affordable price point, which I think everybody will appreciate these days, because good grief, milk is barely an affordable price point. So uh, <laughs> a more affordable spinning wheel is a good thing. Let me put this open, and you see how it comes in the box. So it's a smaller, flatter box, so that way shipping is more affordable, and it's 3D printed, half of it, so that way, <laughs> if you lived through the uh, great Spinolution shipping slowdown of not this year, this year I think we're cranking things out good because we're making more of the little parts at our shops, which I think have inspired <laughs> this one, like I said, with most of it being well, all of it being made, uh, you know, like some 3D printed. Look at this giant bobbin. You can get different bobbin sizes. And I uh, requested the biggest one just because, uh, you know, I didn't have one this size. So I figured since I made so many demo videos that having the biggest one, you know, a different size than what I have would be great. <laughs> this is going to be like the biggest bobbin I've ever had. But you can see those are the ends. So, um... But yes, so where my rambling was going with this, and of course I'm not the one in the actual shop, but by being able to 3D print a lot of these parts, and then it's the usual wood from the, uh, you know, California Baltic birch, it's just going to be unfinished. So that way we uh, don't have to wait on like annoying little metal parts or whatever to come in and take forever. So... You can see it in the box. It's all wrapped up nice and tight in these uh, different. It's like uh, Christmas when like your grandma sends you boxes in a box. <laughs> this one it reminds me of. So everything is saran wrapped in here. Let's see what we have first. I have never seen this. I've actually barely seen a picture of what it's going to be. So this is going to be a great mystery for all of us. And this looks like, I know it's kind of a tripod wheel. So, and it's so nice. I mean, even, like I said, with it being technically unfinished, this is still a really nice product. So this is not, you know, like some sort of weird particle board that you would, 
make like a roadside sign out of or something. This is our usual Spindolution Baltic Birch. It's really pretty with the wood grain. Let's see, we got that piece. So like I said, so half of this should be reprinted. And I'm not going to take all of these little pieces out of here because I have to read the official instructions myself. And I definitely don't want to mix up my parts. I'm just gonna kind of peek and see what's in here. Okay, what is this? Oh yeah, there's lots of screws and black 3D printed things and bars. <laughs> So you can see, you've been wondering about this wheel. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have been too. But you can see it comes with lot, all the bolts and pieces. So I will not have to be running out to the hardware store to grab any screws. So to, once I've uh, consumed the correct amount of coffee, I will get on putting it together. But I'm going to leave everything in the bag. So, because I'm assuming the directions are probably like, get red bag number one with this in it. And then, you know, I don't want to mix up my bags. So, this looks like the rest of my bobbin. <laughs> Hello from Montana. Hi, Nikki. So this looks like a 3D printed, um, <laughs> it's giant. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited about this giant head. The orifice hook. And oh yeah, we got flyer pegs. Flyer pegs. And like, so these are all, you can see 3D printed. So they got that cool shine to them. And they have screws. Like, so I'm not taking all of this out. So it looks like this particular pouch has the flyer head in it. What's in pouch number three? Pouch number three is slip this open. Aha! This looks like it has. Oh man, they hooked me up. I got looks like some smaller bobbins too. So this also looks like flyer head accessories and like. Oh, this is cool. On um. If you bought another spinolution wheel, they always spin a little bit. The shop manager spins a tiny bit on each uh, bobbin and each wheel to make sure that, you know, everything's balanced and working right. So it looks like that once again happened. So if you're wondering, can't wait to see, oh my God, I know, I'm really excited about it. I was like waiting to get back in town to put it together. And we've got the kids are in like a three day a week summer camp situation which they think that that gives me enough time to do everything in the entire world that could possibly need to happen, but uh, it's not actually that much time. So it may be tomorrow before I get this together. Let me save this up. Oh, there go my scissors. <laughs> so you can see. Look at it. It's so pretty. So uh, that is... Let me stand up. Okay. Oh, those were my scissors indeed that fell on the floor. So... This looks like the wheel part. It's very pretty. And there's a few more random things in this box. But this is the wheel. Not sure. I guess, yeah, this. Stay tuned on me to figure out what end is up. It does have. See right here, it says Abe. That's really fun. It says Spin Perfect. Abe right here and it's got a drive band looks like it's got maybe a position for two different wheels it's got the pretty spoke cutouts like um, it reminds me of the spoke cutouts on the uh, let's see what's the echo the echo has like the smaller ones this actually looks like the bigger ones similar to the monarch so that's really fun because that's our most expensive wheel <laughs> and this will be the most affordable wheel and it's got uh, sort of a homage to the Monarch. So I think that's really pretty. And this is of course all unfinished, but you can see the pretty wood grain. You can see our usual, the way they're put together so that they are warp resistant, all of the different layers. I absolutely can't wait to get this thing together. So. 
good thing I came up here to do this because I was getting sleepy <laughs> after lunch, but now I'm excited and motivated to get this put together. Is the A bigger than the poly? Ooh, good question. Stay tuned. <laughs> I uh, will have to, uh, Alex said, y'all really know pretty much as much as I know at this point in time. I know that it's called the Abe because in, in here somewhere, there should be a penny. I am told, urban legend, that it comes with a penny, and that's where the name comes from, and apparently some part of it, I'm not sure what part of it, I will have to read the directions, <laughs> I think involves a penny to pop something in or pop something out. We shall see. So that's why it's called the Abe. Also, Spinolution is a very patriotic company, so, you know say a, uh, a nod to Abraham Lincoln, of course, which you, if you've seen some of the uh, marketing that's gone out. So it's called the Abe because it involves a penny, which I'm told they all come with a penny. So I will dig through the box, find my penny. I thought it looks much nicer. I thought it would not that the others are, yeah, no, it's really pretty. Like I said, I've been just drooling over like preliminary sketches, marketing stuff and uh, badgering. Ashley. <laughs> so I don't know too much about it either. I will get it put together and I will of course do a standby, you know, annexed to all the other ones because that was one of my big questions with it too is, is it bigger or smaller than the polywog? Will it do anything that the polywog won't do? One thing I can already tell you is even though the polywog comes, you can get the 12 ounce attachment. This is a 33 <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, this claims it is a 33 ounce bobbin. So there's already something that it looks like it's maybe similar size to the poly, but if you want a ginormous bobbin, then, uh, you know, this is a good option for that. So, okay, I'm going to, uh, like I said, there's a few other random things in here. Ah, oh, got help. This has rubber things on it, so this must be the feet. <laughs> And got something else. Other looks like it could be a elbow joint. I feel like I'm taking a disembodied body out of the box right now. And that looks like it fell out of one. Oh, that's going to be for the 33 ounce bobbin. So, super excited. I'm going to go dig out my directions. And I promise I will make you a very good hopefully idiot proof version of how to put this thing together. And I think I'm gonna end up putting it together so that I can look like a fool by myself without you witnessing it. And then I'll probably take it apart, <laughs> or at least mostly apart. And then I will film myself once I know what I'm doing, putting it mostly back together. And the other fun thing about this wheel is since it's unfinished, you could paint it if you are so inclined. You could, you know, paint rainbows and unicorns all over it if you wanted to. I'm not that talented. I was kicking around the idea of getting a either black varnish um, so that it was kind of like you could still see the wood grain but it matched the black of the flyer head or I could go totally rogue and since my um, my brain colors are that kind of like muted pink I might try to find a kind of muted pink varnish with the same idea that you can see the wood grain through it. So like I said, I will make the video first showing you how to put it together and I will get it on my website <laughs> and uh, then I will probably varnish it even though it's very pretty just like it is. But I, will, you know, will varnish it and I'll show you. That'll be another fun video is a... Uh, showing you how to do that because I'm definitely not super handy that way. <laughs> but I did um, once upon a time, my very first wheel, if you remember, I'm curious to see how it compares to the orifice height. Yeah, me too. So I'm gonna get this thing together and then we will measure and I will sit them next to each other and uh, we'll see what's up. But um, yeah, once upon a time, my very first wheel, if you go way back in this channel, was a Lewitt. And that thing, uh, comparison note, that thing came in a box that was, I'm not joking you, this big. <laughs> it was like a big square box that was that tall. It looked like a TV could have come in it, like a flat screen. And you had to completely put it together. So considering that this is supposedly the uh, DIY Spinolution wheel, it's already looking way less intimidating than the um, my first wheel, which was that Louette, because that was a pain in the butt together. 
I know there was one part of that where I think you had to kind of snap the arm onto it and I felt like I was going to break it. And of course it was like my first spinning wheel experience and I was convinced I was going to break it. So <laughs> uh, this is already looks, considering it's DIY, uh, way less scary to put together than my first wheel was. So um, we will see how that goes. But I had to varnish that one too, was where that particular ramble was going um, was I had to varnish that one because the wood construction was different on that brand and so they definitely wanted you to varnish it for uh, fear of warping in humidity. So anyhow, hope you're as excited about all of this as I am. I'm off to find the directions and put it together and then take it apart and then put it together while filming it and then edit it and put it up here. So it could take me, um, I'd say the rest of the week because I'm having to deal with my kids being here and there and everywhere, and they would not be helpful putting this together. Even if they tried, they would not be helpful. So uh, bear with me, and I promise there will be an annoying amount of pictures and blogs and videos and how-tos and comparisons and yarn spinning and all the things. So there will be lots of things coming. Uh, first and foremost, I need to get this put together. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, then I will get this. I also need to get the details added to my website. Um, this is a, so that way you could buy it <laughs> if you want it. Um, so we'll get that up there and then that way they are officially for sale if your heart is already a flutter just from seeing me take it out of the box. So <laughs> depending on when you see this video, it uh, hopefully will be on my website and I will put a link in the description and uh, I hope you have a great day.